Hey gang, Matt here, and yep, it's another month and another 2LP metalhead box. Of course, that means records, but also t-shirts and other cool metal stuff. Now, what's in this box? Well, you and I are about to find out. So the Metalhead Box is a monthly subscription box service, each and every month bringing you cool metal stuff. Uh, you get your choice between CDs or LPs or cassettes, they have three different boxes in that regard. But also you can pick your genre, they have power metal, doom metal, thrash metal, black metal, death metal, traditional heavy metal, you name it. And of course you don't just get albums, you also get things like t-shirts and stickers and autograph cards and patches and again, cool metal stuff. And probably one of the best things about the Metalhead Box is that they're actually put together by metal fans, just like you and I, people who listen to metal and love metal and live the metal. Definitely those kind of people. They put together great boxes, and you're going to find that out as we open this one. So with that, let's see what's in the October 2020 Metalhead Box. All right, let's see what we got. First up is an enamel pin. Uh, the enamel pins are pretty common in these metalhead boxes, uh, which is great. They're really fantastic. Uh, usually the artwork is pretty good, solidly made. Uh, this one is obviously typo negative. Uh, every day is Halloween. Uh, just looking down here at the box, I see there is a bit of a Halloween theme, which makes sense because it's for October. Uh, cool pin. Of course, Typo Negative is no more. They broke up in 2010, following the death of Peter Steele. Uh, there was a box set that was released by Roadrunner Records in 2011, a vinyl box set of every Typo album, except for Dead Again. Uh, Run Out Groove, incidentally, reissued that box set in 2019, in case you had a hard time finding it. Also, uh, Run Out Groove did separately release Bloody Kisses and World Coming Down as standalone releases, in case you like those albums, you don't want to get the whole box set. But that's out there, in case you're interested. Uh, yeah, cool pin, definitely. I might wear this one, maybe. We'll see. Next up, it looks like we've got a patch. Uh, this is for the band Acid Witch. Uh, if you don't know Acid Witch, uh, they call themselves Halloween Metal. Uh, they're a death doom band, but they also have psychedelic influences and stoner metal, and there's a bit of a Halloween soundtrack thing going on with them as well. Uh, interesting little band. Uh, if you want to find out more about them, they have a band camp page, but they are also on Hell's Headbangers. That's their current label. Hell's Headbangers, of course, is a great label, but also a distro for metal. If you haven't been to their website, you should. Amazing stuff. But yeah, that's Acid Witch. Next is the t-shirt, and I'm already seeing King Diamond here. Amazing. It says, oh, it's Halloween. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the artwork looks very familiar. I, I, I'm going to guess that it's the same guy that did the Chuck Schuldiner uh, tribute shirt last time around. Cool shirt. Again, let me just show that a little bit more for you. Um, King Diamond is working on a new album. Uh, the album got pushed to 2021, uh, tentatively titled The Institute. Um, there is a single called Masquerade of Madness. It's been out for a little while, in case you didn't know. It's out there, but... You know, with COVID and all of that, and uh, tours being rather impossible for bands, a lot of bands are hanging on to albums, uh, hang on to their release, or um, they're just taking their time putting them out in general. So, but oh, cool. I like the shirt. It's a little cartoony, but I might wear it. I love King Diamond. So should you, you know. Next up, uh, let's find out what this is. Looks like a flag or flag for some of you Canadians out there. Let's see. Ah, Exhumed. Um, interesting. A uh, little bit of reminiscent artwork from Death Revenge, but some other elements in there too. Uh, Exhum is an American death metal band. Uh, they're kind of death grind. They sing about horror and gore and necrophilia and other fun stuff like that. Uh, their latest album came out last year. It's called Horror. And they do have some split EPs or split singles out that are a little more recent. Uh, one was with Gruesome. Can't remember what the other one was with, but if you want to hear them, there's the stuff you should check out. Flag, huh? Yeah, we'll see what we'll do with it. Of course, my favorite part of the Metalhead box each and every month is the vinyl. So let's go through those. Uh, the first one is for the band Vanek. 
This is their third album, uh, led by namesake Sean Vanek. Uh, fun thing about Sean is that he's also in the live version of Midnight. As you know, Midnight is a one-man band, uh, Athenar being that man. And, but he needs a live band when he goes out to tour, so Sean is in that band. Uh, he's known as Commander Vanek, interestingly enough. Kind of fun. Uh, anyways, kind of a horror metal band again. Um, this is it back for you. Pretty cool stuff. What's funny about this record is that I initially saw Melissa from the Metalhead Box post about it, and I think she just posted about it because she liked the album. And I was like, oh, cool. So I checked it out in streaming, really liked it a lot, and was going to go buy the vinyl. And then I kind of stopped myself and went, wait a minute. You know, she's probably posting about this because it's going to be in the Metalhead box. So I waited. Kind of glad I did because obviously here it is. And I didn't get a duplicate. So my instincts were right. Of course, let's take a look inside. It has a nice little booklet. Uh, looks like lyrics. And also... Uh, Looks like maybe the tablature on how to play the songs, or at least play parts of them. That's interesting. Kind of cool. Yeah, see the picture there on the side as well. Yeah, let's see if there's anything else in here. Nope. Oop, there is a download card. You don't get to see that, of course. But what you do get to see is the vinyl. And it is... It is in... Looks like black. Yep, classic black. There, labels there, and labels there. Um, since I did check out the streaming version of it and did see the order page for it, I did notice uh, 500 copies of these were released, uh, 250 in black and then 250 in blue, in case you're interested in that. So really fun Halloween metal. Definitely want to check into more releases from this band. Obviously, they have two others before this. So there you go. Vanek. All right, second LP. Oh my God, I cannot believe I'm looking at what I'm looking at. This is Forced Entry. This is Uncertain Future. This is their debut album. I've been looking for this for a very long time. I've been looking for an OG of it, but I'll take a reissue because this is an amazing album. Uh, the band's from Seattle. Uh, they are thrash metal, though on their second album they went more into groove metal. Uh, the second album is As Above, So Below. Um, they did two albums and then that's it. Amazing band. Uh, kills me that they broke up. Uh, this is on Floga Records. Uh, it's a Greek label. Floga means flame in Greek, in case you didn't know that. I'm Greek, so I kind of know that. Uh, interesting album. Uh, definitely have some favorites. Uh, Bludgeon is, is really great. I love Anaconda. Um, fun stuff. Fun stuff. Yeah, I'm looking forward to listening to this. Of course, Floga Records, you might remember I talked about them before. They do a lot of reissues like this. Uh, another thing they do is they put out older material, demo material on vinyl for certain bands. You might remember I did the Destruction one for Bestial Invasion of Hell. I talked about that in an earlier video. That's Floga as well. You should definitely check them out. It's F-L-O-G-A. Definitely a cool, cool label. Of course, check out what's inside here. We got an insert with uh, some pictures, and it looks like their EP is down here. They did have a follow-up EP called The Shore. Uh, it was recorded back during the 90-91-ish period. Uh, it was released a little bit later on. Um, this is probably a reprint of that. Pretty cool. Also, full lyrics. And we should take a look at the vinyl. And why not? Looks like it's on Classic Black. Some custom labels, and much of the same thing on the back. I am really psyched to have this album. Really psyched. Uh, they're an amazing band. Definitely one of those bands that sort of came and went way too quickly. You should hear them, definitely, for sure. Both albums, both Uncertain Future and As Above, So Below. Great stuff. And of course, like we've seen the last so many months, we have a tag and share promotional from the Metalhead Box people. Uh, it says, make sure to take a photo of your favorite items in this month's box or from previous month's boxes. Tag the Metalhead Box and share and you could win. The Metalhead Box will randomly select 50 of you and send you something in the mail. So cool giveaway from Metalhead Box people. You should check into them anyways, you know that. Uh, on the back here, you get to see what's in the boxes. Uh, uh, including a Halloween sticker, which I didn't get, was probably in the CD box exclusively. But yeah, cool stuff. There you go. 
And that's it for the October 2020 Metalhead box. Of course, if you want your own box, you should definitely check out their website. I'll link that in the description of this video. Definitely check into it. I mean, they got LPs, CDs, or cassettes. You know, pick your format, pick your genre, go to town. Also, let me know in the comments whether you like this box or dislike this box. Maybe you get the Metalhead box every month and you get slightly different stuff. Let me know what you got, you know, what's different from my box. Let me know all of that in the comments. Of course, I'd love it if you liked this video. Also, share it with your friends. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the Accusation Network YouTube channel. That's this channel, of course, where I do metal vinyl collecting videos once or twice a week. Definitely check out the videos, check out the playlists, but subscribe. It's fun. And as always, thanks for watching and ever forward.